Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Xenon Protein X. In this tutorial video, I am going to talk about why 5% carbon dioxide and 37 degree temperature maintained in the incubator. Let's begin. So first, let's talk about why 37 degree temperature maintained in the incubator. So this is very simple. The All of the mammalian cells and most of the living organism cells required 37 degree temperature to grow the cells. So this is why this temperature, 37 degree temperature, it's maintained in the incubator to grow the cells properly. So next is the why 5% carbon dioxide maintained in the incubator. But before going to have this discussion, we need to know the aerobic cellular respiration that occurs in the mammalian cells. So if we recall the reaction that glucose and oxygen that reacts to form carbon dioxide water and ATP molecules. So this carbon dioxide, this is very much essential to regulate the pH. How? Let's see then. So this carbon dioxide, it reacts with the water and to form carbonic acid. So this carbonic acid, it regulates pH. So later on, this carbonic acid, it dissociates to bicarbonate ion and the H plus ion. And this reaction is one of the many buffer systems in the human body. It resists dramatic changes in pH to allow a person to remain within the narrow physiological pH range. So this bicarbonate ion, this is very much important. It acts as a buffer to regulate and maintain pH inside the cells. How pH is maintained by the uh, carbonic acid. This is one of the important question. So in case of the low pH, so there are a lot of H plus in the system. So that H plus ion that it forms to carbonic acid and that carbonic acid it dissociate to water and carbon dioxide gas and this carbon dioxide gas it exhaled through the lungs. So this is why the acidic pH it's maintained and it's neutralized by the carbonic acid. So in case of the high pH, so there are a lot of OH minus ion as we know that. So that OH minus ion that reacts with the carbonic acid and to form bicarbonate ion. So this bicarbonate ion it acts as a buffer as well as the it also regulate the high pH. So this is why the higher pH or buffered pH it regulated or maintained by the carbonic acid. So by the same mechanism the carbonic acid it regulates pH in the cell culture medium. So the pH, temperature and humidity these th three factors are very much essential to grow the cells and divide the cells. So humidity how it maintained as we know that in the in the incubator there the water chamber so this water it it maintained 70 percent humidity exactly same that 70 percent water in the human it maintained and the temperature 37 degree temperature it's all i already discussed and the ph how ph is maintained let's see then so let's assume there is the cell culture dish that contain media inside the incubator chamber and carbon dioxide is is supplying so the carbon dioxide it reacts with the water of the media and to forms carbonic acid and as we know that the most common buffer used in the mammalian cell culture is sodium bicarbonate so this sodium bicarbonate buffered media becomes sensitive to carbonic acid formed by the concentration of the carbon dioxide and as long as the level of the carbon dioxide is controlled the pH of the media can be maintained so to, to always supplying the carbon dioxide and the atmosphere of the in the inside the chamber it need to keep supplying the carbon dioxide always so the next question is that the why 5% carbon dioxide this is another important question it being raised. So 
The partial pressure of the carbon dioxide in arterial blood is around 4.6 to 5.9%, that equivalent to 35 to 45 mmi Hg. So this is why around 5% carbon dioxide in most of the cases maintained in the incubator. And next question is the what if more than 5% carbon dioxide, then what happens? That is also important question. The carbon dioxide percentage, it, the range can be can be varied, can be set depending on experimental purpose. For example, in case of the venous blood of healthy person, it's around 5.4 to 6.6%. And also in case of some cell lines that requires higher percentage of the carbon dioxide for better growth, around 8 to 10% carbon dioxide. For also the suspension cells, in some cases, it required higher percentage of the carbon dioxide. So this carbon dioxide percentage, it can be varied, it can be set according to your experimental purpose. So next is the why used sodium bicarbonate buffer, but not the other buffers in the cell culture medium. So the phosphate buffer also, it can, it can be used, right? Because phosphate buffer also, it is uh, maintained, it maintained pH inside the human body. But it has been found that this phosphate buffer, it has, ha it has toxic effects. Phosphate buffer and also other kind of buffer, it has toxic effect on the in vitro cell culture. So it has some influence to grow the cells properly. So this is why phosphate buffer and also other buffer, these kind of buffers are not used in the cell culture medium. But the sodium bicarbonate, it has no toxic effect or it cannot influence the cells growth or cell division. So this is why only sodium bicarbonate, this buffer used in the cell culture medium. So in the cell culture media are generally in the supplemented with phenol red to act as a pH indicator. So as you know that the cell culture medium there are different kind of color, right? So this color is because of this phenol red that act as a pH indicator. So if your uh, media color is like this, then it means that it indicating 7.4. So if it change little bit acidic, then it will turns to little euloise. And if it is little bit alkaline, then it turns to little pink color. So if it is more acidic, then it will be, it turns to more euloise, so around 6.5 pH. So this is how you can, you can visually, you can check um, the rough pH by the, by the color changing of the cell culture media. So I hope this video will be helpful. If you like this video, kindly hit the like button, share it, and please share my, please subscribe my channel. And if you have any queries, kindly write in the comment section. Thanks.